beautiful ladies from The Walking Dead. I don't think you want to meet them on your way because they can be really badass. All right, guys, I need a round of applause for Cassidy McClinson. Hello, hello. And Miss Emily Kinney. Welcome.
I'm excited any time to work and go to set. I mean, I was excited for the role because I felt like it was a good part for me, but I, um, I didn't have like the knowledge of, like the show hadn't grown as it has now into pop culture, so I wasn't like as aware of it. So yeah. there was no that extra shock, but still good to have a, a cool yeah. job, especially that your character were really re well written. Yes, really well written, and um, it was fun to like, like it was still when we were like creating the. I don't know how with your character, but I was like going back and forth about okay, who will Beth be because she hadn't been in the comics, and I remember going and trying to find well, who is this character based off of? But it really wasn't based off of anyone necessarily. So I remember even in like the costumes or like deciding to put little braids in her hair, or, like all the little um, touches of creating who that character was in those first scenes. Even though I didn't do much in my first episodes. Um, I remember just it being very specific and really, really fun and exciting. Because sometimes when you go to set, you're just kind of like, they've already made all the decisions, you're just kind of thrown into it. And this was definitely something, you know, I could tell that they were still developing the show in a certain way that was really exciting and um, really artistically and creatively fulfilling. And exactly, it's a lot of creativity that can put into it. And so where did you go for inspiration to create a character that never existed before? I mean, yeah, um, Yulin was the costume designer, still is, for, I think, or maybe she's not, maybe, she's maybe on one of the new Walking Dead shows. Um, but yeah, it was mostly her and Frank and, um, yeah, and then as the seasons went on, you know, we had different um, people involved and, yeah, so. That's pretty exciting. That's yeah. Really cool. And uh, I always, when I speak uh, from, with the cast from The Walking Dead, I always have that feeling that everybody is such a good friend, and the bonds created there will last forever. And that's the uniqueness, uh, I guess, that translates also to the screen, or to the, to, yeah, to the screen, uh, that we can see. I think that what made, uh, well, zombies helped, but the, that what made The Walking Dead very unique, that we can see that you guys are in it, and you are feeling the connections and you're you're not just you know doing another job you're really there to to convey uh, something so uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the relations you had on the set i know like in, especially in the beginning season when somebody was killed off that was really that moment that you guys had like dinners together to say goodbye to characters so can you tell me a little bit more about the connections you made on set yeah i mean I, like you said we would have dinners and people would leave and I think being in Georgia and away from um, New York or LA, everyone was really, I don't know, we were, that, that was who you were hanging out with as well, probably for you too. Like, you know, you weren't just working on set and then going home and having your normal friends you hang out. You know, we were also um, hanging out together. And so in that way we were like building a real family together. Um, but yeah, I feel like Walking Dead, Everyone was really committed to making it a good show and making really creative choices from the very beginning. And I always feel like it was such good training for me going into other new shows. I felt myself um, thinking back to people like Andy Lincoln and what would he do or what would you know like do to prepare. And I remember things like Andy inviting us over to his place to rehearse. Or even when I would have um, really important scenes, like, you know, there's an episode where it's just me and Daryl, the full episode, and we had several rehearsals for that, and we would run lines, and there was just a lot more commitment to making the scenes as good as possible. I think in other TV shows, people are trying to make them as good as possible, but there's not the same kind of time put into it, like you don't get quite as much rehearsal, it's more on you by yourself to do the rehearsal. Um, so I really appreciated in Walking Dead having that sort of time together to like rehearse. Um, yeah, yeah. That, and that shows that we, we can really feel that you guys like put an extra effort to it. Especially the first few seasons when, when The Walking Dead was growing and growing, we, like, we got really sucked in, into that energy as well. And yeah, we could definitely do that. And how was it for you, Cassidy? Uh, it was something else. I think I, I grew up uh, doing online school, so I was very isolated. And I remember the first day that I got to set, I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many people. I was so socially awkward. 
but everyone was so welcoming and everyone said the same thing, welcome to the Walking Dead. And it was just, it felt so monumental, uh, like I was just part of this giant, well-working, oiled machine, um, and everyone just had the same passion and, and um, gratefulness to be a part of this project. And um, yeah, we all went through blood, sweat, and tears, literally. Uh, so, you know, it was a great, great first, like, training job. I don't think I will ever find that again. Oh, no, you're spoiled now. <laughs> you're spoiled. Well, I am so spoiled. <laughs> but, like you said, uh, I think I didn't join, I never worked with Andy, but the legacy that of his hard work lived on after he left. And, um, yeah, everyone would tell stories of how hard he worked and running extra blocks just to would be more seem like extra sweaty or extra yeah i think that like in the beginning they really set a precedent you can feel it when you get to set and i think it followed through i think what you were saying before about there being a sort of bond between people who worked on the show because you know like oh there was a special kind of it's not just i mean none of us go into this just to have a job you go into it because you're trying to tell a story and create something special, create art. And I feel like the people who set up Walking Dead, like they set up a precedent and then everyone who came in, it's like you feel that and then you rise to the occasion. Um, where there are sometimes when it's not as much like that, it's more clocking in, you do your best, you, kind of, you know what I mean? Um, but this feels, and I think that's why it's translated to such a huge audience because it had that sort of um, passion, focus, drive, commitment. For sure, the writing was good as well. Yeah, and the writing, like all, all the things lined up, you know, we shot on film, like it makes it a little bit more extra special, we have Greg Nicotero making the zombies, I mean, he's the best in the business, you know, like, you, it's, um, yeah, so, so many things lined up, and other projects are so fun in their own ways, but when everything lines up, it's like, it's nothing that you control. It just happens like in a really magical way. Yeah, so. it, you, you, you hit that magic equation, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely with that show. And I can already see that we have some questions from the audience. I'm just going to go to them, all right? Hello, guys. How are you? Hello, I'm Lynn, and I wanted to ask if, um, from the monkey bed, um, so, um, who was your favorite? Uh, for you both, um, who was your favorite character from The Walking Dead, except for your own characters? So, who was your favorite character, except your own, from the whole series? Oh, uh, I mean, I liked Glenn, but I would say throughout the whole thing, probably uh, Carol. I loved her art, and I think she's yeah, <laughs> such an amazing actress and human. Um, yeah, I would say. I, I would watch her all day, every day. <laughs> yeah. Kelly Carol. That's a good one. Yeah, it's so hard to pick. Because I can think of some. I, as soon as you said Carol, I was like, wait, no, I want to say Carol. She's amazing. <laughs> I love Melissa. Um, but two people came to mind um, probably Herschel, Scott Wilson, just because I love him. And, and then I, um, I also love Michelle. I just think Denai is such a badass. And like, I always feel like I love watching her, but then I also love like whenever they'd have moments where you get to know her in a more like vulnerable way. Um, th those moments are really satisfying because she's such a badass and so tough. So I liked her character a lot. So, that's, a, that's a good Thank answer. Thank you. And for you, Thank what you. was your favorite thing? Uh, Daryl. Daryl. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. You want to ride a motorcycle? He's too sweet. And badass. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Thank you so much. You killed me, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next question, please. Hi. Um, I was wondering, like, in The Walking Dead, there were, like, a lot of scary scenes. Uh, if you ever came across a scary scene that you had to perform uh, yourself, how did you prepare mentally on it? Good question. What was the scariest scene that you had to uh, be in? Or how did you prepare for it? Okay, um, oh. so I think what I like to do 
and this is not the same for a lot of actors, but I do like to not be scared beforehand. Like, I want to be happy and completely different before they call action. And then that will help me, like, completely switch. Uh, so that kind of is my, what's leading up to being frightened. Um, what the hell is, oh gosh, I'm scared. I mean, sometimes you can pull an Andy and do some jumping jacks to get your adrenaline up. <laughs> different than, like, depending on what the actual scene is, like, if it's a more emotional scare, like, someone is, you know, uh, I was thinking of when the governor, like, kills my dad, that was quite an emotional scene, but one way to get into it is right before that, there was a lot of, like, shooting guns and running, and so that lent itself to that moment. There was also, I had another actor to play off of, which is my sister, and Lauren and I always could just... So sometimes even just listening to the other person is really helpful, like just really being in the moment. Um, or like you were saying, like almost letting it be new. So I think when you're saying like, oh, you want to almost feel completely different than before you get scared, like just so that you can be like completely in the moment and it surprise you. And, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. Next question, please. I love your t-shirt. Thank Thanks. you. <laughs> Um, if you could pick any season you haven't played in, uh, what season would you play in? One. I think that pilot was one of the best pilots in the history of the world. <laughs> Iconic. Iconic, yeah. I would probably say, yeah, season one. Yeah, me too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Copy your answer. No, but that's, that's, a, that's a good answer. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next question, please. Hi. Um, uh, what, what was your reaction when you heard, uh, Beth, it's from Beth, um, when you, uh, died? Oh yeah, I was very sad. So, people ask me that a lot, like, I was, I mean, I was very sad, because it was such a good gig, I mean, <laughs> I wasn't like, yay, see you later, you know, I was, I was, <laughs> I was bummed, but it was also thankful to have, you know, had such a nice run. Thank you. Hello, Thank you. Next question, please. Um, hi. What was you guys' favorite scene to shoot in The Walking Dead? Favorite one to shoot? All of them? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> yeah, it's so hard to pick just one. I mean, there's two that come to mind. It's like, I loved in season two, there's a scene where we're just sitting around the campfire and me and Lauren start singing and I just liked that moment like for me as an actor too like it was a nice it was just like a nice evening and I remember it had been like a really tiring busy week and that moment felt really like like nice um, and then I also really liked there's a scene where Daryl and I are talking on the porch before we decide to burned down in this little house we had found. And that that scene was really satisfying too. Um, yeah, I think I liked most of the days where we could all be together to cast because a lot of uh, when I when I was on the show there was a lot of different communities so we were all very separated. Um, so it was always a like a special treat when we could all be on set together and I think my favorite in, in terms of having a community together was probably the snowball fighting scene at the end of season nine um, because we were all there in the fake snow and, and it was actually improvised by Norman he threw a snowball at someone and then we all just kind of we were in character but we were breaking character to be happy in character and it was just it was really fun um, and then I also enjoyed the challenging, uh, dark scenes, you know, mental breakdown, because it's rough, but it also, it feels rewarding in that sense. If you um, go through it, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it feels like a release. So I would say complete opposites. Being very happy with your friends and also 
going through it as a real actor, you know. <laughs> the gritty, the gritty. Thank you so much. Thank you for your question. Thank you so much. I love much. your outfit. It's so good. It's a great outfit. Hey, it's me, Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, I have two things. Go ahead. Uh, it's not a question, but first of all, for Emily, life after death. It's a title. I'm giving it to you. You can make a song out of it if you want. Life after death. <laughs> and for Cassidy, I uh, bought you some real cheese from the. From you the, brought me I the cheese. You. <laughs> real cheese. So you I don't know. Me. I don't know who can give it to her, it's but. Not uh, right. Come on. Oh, yeah, come yeah, sure. Um, is there a background story with cheese? Um, he was asking me what treats. Thank you! Oh my gosh! Oh, this is wonderful! Not brown cheese either. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Ship them. Oh, now I'm gonna be carrying around this cheese all day. I love it. Um, yeah, he was like, have you had uh, Dutch cheese yet? And I was like, the brown kind? I was thinking of like uh, brown cheese on Belgian waffles. Yeah. Uh, but no, I'm very excited to try this. Thank you. It's slightly warm. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, we love some cheese. <laughs> so is that the most random thing that you received from a fan? <laughs> I, I think yes. Thank you. Well done, Peter. Well done. You're in the books. Thanks, Peter. I love it. <laughs> because as I must say, like the Walking Dead, the Walking Dead franchise has a beautiful set of um, fans, as you can see. Look at you. The fan base is amazing. That's it is good. true. And uh, also fan art. The fan art is astonishing. The drawings, the paintings. And I think there's a lot of people that write like uh, fan, fan art. Yes. You, know? you know, Billie Eilish, her first song was based off of Walking Dead. Oh, really? Yeah. Very, very strange. I mean, like, not strange, but uh, you would never guess it, I guess. Well, that's a great fan to have. I know, right? <laughs> talking about the community of, you know, the set at Walking Dead, everyone is a, all the cast and crew, but it's also, it's the same at conventions, I've seen so many people make lifelong friends and family and, you know, get married to people, find romances through being fans and going to conventions, and I just think that's so beautiful. It is really yeah. cool, like, that's why we're here, because yeah. we're a big community of nerds. <laughs> And is there anything that, uh, except the cheese from Peter, of course, is there any cool uh, artifacts or maybe things that you had to autograph from fans, from fan art, or maybe something cool that they created? Anything comes to mind? Did you have to sign somebody's arm for a tattoo because that's the most popular one? I have done that. <laughs> yeah, and I've seen people with actual like faces, like like my. It was like Beth's face, but oh, my face on there. That's <laughs> their arm. That's commitment. Yeah, it's commitment. So it's commitment. It's commitment. <laughs> Very cool. It is pretty cool to see, though. It is really yeah. nice. Yeah, I think fans are amazing. Um, yeah. And uh, I, in my job, there's another thing that I have a privilege to do. It's spying on you guys. So I went to see your Instagram account. Oh, nice. <laughs> We've been cyber shocked. And, and I really love, I really love the pink vinyl. It is so cute. Oh, thank you. It is so beautiful. Thank you. Did you are you going to print more or, or is like a very um, limited edition? So I actually did that for Urban Outfitters. They have Urban. Right here, Urban Outfitters here? I'm or not sure. But I know what it is. It's, it's, there's okay. an over, yeah, yes, there is. Um, so Urban Outfitters is a clothing store, but they also have records and a few books and things like that. So I did like a limited run of pink vinyl just for Urban Outfitters. And that run is over, but then I had like 40, 50 more, so I'm just selling them now. That's pretty cool. I didn't have them, but they were like in my, basically my a warehouse that my distributor had, and they were like, oh, we have 50 more of these, you know, pink vinyl. I was like, I'll take them, so um, if you want one, get them now. That is pretty <laughs> cool to have your music on, on the vinyl. On the yeah. Vinyl as well. Yeah. Because vinyls are getting, getting a revival, no? I think so, yeah, the kind of like warm, crackly sound. I think people like them and, you know, um, you guys are big fans of things. Sometimes it's fun if you really like something to have a physical, you know, physical item. Yeah. It's better than downloading files, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's better for the artist. Yeah. 
It is, it is beautiful. So, well done. That was really cool. I was uh, scrolling through that. And um, so, looking at uh, both of your uh, Instagram, uh, Emily, for you, definitely music is the number one that you love. So, it's music. Uh, I said music, poppies, coffee, and poetry. That's what I want. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much my hobbies. That's all. So, my dog. <laughs> Little poems and yeah, coffee, coffee. What what do you love about coffee so much? Why why coffee? Why too? do I love coffee so much? Isn't that coffee? <laughs> I mean, it's the main reason I get up in the morning. So I don't know. I get excited when I go to sleep thinking about the cup the cup of coffee I'm gonna have the next morning. <laughs> so reason to get up in the morning. Yeah, I mean I'm addicted to caffeine. I think my family, when I was growing up, my mom always had a pot of coffee on. Mm -hmm. So it's also just something that's so like in my Probably. system. So um, yeah, <laughs> I've been trying to drink matcha, but ooh, but matcha is nice. Yeah, matcha is good, but it doesn't give you quite the same charge. Yeah, it's true. You know. <laughs> Coffee gets that spike as much as more like stable to be there. It's probably better for you. Though. Probably better. For you. And Cassidy, from your Instagram, I learned that you love rocks, sticks, and music. I'm a Georgia girl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do like the dirt. Um, yeah, I do love being outside and creeks and things, um, and also music. Yes, very. Yeah, classic Georgia. That's in Georgia. No, yes. um, and you're awesome with the with the, the when you fight with the stick. Oh yeah, the bow staff. Yeah, yeah, that was so fun. I was like, like when they told me I, they were going to give me the bow staff, I was so excited to do so many um, so many training sessions. And uh, it cool. It looked so cool. And I was feeling so cool, and then it really didn't show on the screen. But you know that's okay. I had a great time. Yeah. And you have a new skill. I have a new skill. Just in case you're fed, you know, zombie apocalypse, you're ready. The time. I know. You better watch out. <laughs> I don't know if you can survive without coffee. <laughs> I cannot survive without coffee. I mean, I have the reason I got through but the baton, both stop training. Why am I saying baton now? Ah. Um, was the coffee. Yes, I love <laughs> caffeine. Yes. I have a little bit too much in my system right now. <laughs> so with this little ode to caffeine. <laughs> Let's uh, give, uh, give you back a little bit of time, and it's very nice to have you here on stage. It is uh, very nice to talk to you ladies and uh, to learn a little bit more about you and your artistry and your, and your uh, work as well. And I hope I'm going to see you again on the stage. And uh, my dear audience, you can find both of them to, in their signing booths and the photos as well. And I need a big round of applause for Cassidy and Emily.